Hi guys, my name is the Scorpion and welcome back to part 2 of my V12 tutorial. Now in this part we'll be talking about the E2 and wiring up all the pistons. So, first things first, you want to spawn a plate, doesn't matter what size, but just spawn a plate and you want to put your E2 on it and then also the pod controller. Um, now the reason why I put them on a plate is because they are entities. Now when an entity is on a moving object, it creates lag on the server. And when you have multiple vehicles and that with all these entities on them, it creates a lot of lag and can really slow the server down. So if you put them on a stationary prop, like for example this plate that I've got here, they're not moving but they're still, you know, they're not actually damaging the engine at all so they're doing the exact same thing just um, stationary which is good so once you've placed it you want to wire up the block so I'll do that again so block when you go to the crank so you want to fade door wire up the crank and your pod is obviously your pod control now for the pistons now the way I've done this is in a counterclockwise rotation so you go point one there Point one, you go point twos over here, so you sort of counterclockwise. Point two, is there, and you go back to here. Point three, yeah. Point four, obviously. Point five, yeah, point six, and then it's the exact same over the other side. It's just this side we go over here. So you go point one. I'm going to change that A so you don't always keep going to it. Got point twos over here. Point threes here. Oops, that was point two, sorry. Point three, yeah, there we go. Point four. Point five here. And point six. Now we can duplicate the engine. Now what I've done with my E2 at the moment is I've just put it on a little bit of a debug mode so when I unfreeze it, it should start running, which it does. There we go. As you can see, run engine is running smoothly. And so now what we'll do, we'll go to our wire tool, click on the debugger. This just makes it so that we can see um, the engine running. As you can see, it is running perfectly fine. We've got a pretty stable RPM of about 300. Sort of jumping between 300 and 320, but that's fine. Um, looks like the pistons are running all right. It's only on a power of 100, so in theory this should, oh, I don't know, should get quite quite a decent amount of power out of it at least. Um, so we'll go into the E2, and I'll explain a little bit of the E2. So I've simplified this E2 down a lot for uh, you guys. So as you can see here, the idle bit is what I've what I was talking about. So I'll set that to zero and I'll just refresh the E2 so now the engine should slow down and no power's been powered through it. Okay, so obviously you've got an idle so you can set the multiplier there so um, you can have an, uh, the engine idling if you want. The multiplier is obviously your power. Now I haven't actually tested it at 100 but I will do in a short while. You got the boost, which is when you hold down Shift and W or Shift and S, it should double the power. But if you want to do, say, triple the power, you change it to three. You want to do quadruple the power, you change it to four, etc., etc. I like to leave it at two though. And obviously we've got an RPM limiter, so I've set that to three thousand now. It depends on your server. Certain servers have problems keeping a stable tick rate, which affects the uh, RPM of your engine. Um, so. Normally a safe bet would be about 1,500 RPM, which is pretty, it's actually very good for the size crank. It, it can easily get up to there and be stable. Um, I'll remove that bit of code there because we don't need that anymore. We'll keep the ops down to a, a low state so we can try and reduce the lag. Um, there's your RPM limiter there. This is part of your sound. So I have added a sound code in it, just a simple one, just to... Uh, keep everyone happy because everyone's been wanting a sound code so I've implemented a simple one in. That's your RPM as I said. This is calculating the angle of the crank according to the block and then this is what's timing the pistons. 
So we'll validate, save and exit. Set this up, so now idle, it should hover below 100 ops, which it is doing. And then when we link the sound up so we can listen to the talking sound as well. So when I link it up, so we get back a little bit more. There we go. There's a sound, you can hear it, and it jumps up to about 450. Oh, it looks like that power might be a little bit too much. We are putting about, what's 100 times 100? That's 1,000. So we're putting 1,000 power currently through this engine, which is quite a significant amount. So we don't actually need to put that much through this engine. So I'll lower that down. Actually, no, 100 times 100, what's that? 100 times 10, that's a 1,000, so we're putting 10,000 power through this engine currently. <laughs> that's a lot. Jump that down to 5. So now, 5 times the multiplier of the thrusters, which is 100, so that's 500 power now. There we go, she's running fine. Turn the boost on, so hold down shift. She cranks it up. So now, to prove that this engine is working and it is functioning properly, I will spawn my chassis that I have my amazing engine that I made, which you probably saw in the first video. I'll just quickly remove everything here, the pistons, and remove this here is from the engine. So now quickly what I'll do is I will just bull socket the engine to my fly my uh, drive wheel so I'll set it back to there there we go. Now Gary's mod's a little bit weird so this may or may not work I don't know. So we'll do that. Better unfreeze it, otherwise we'll unfreeze the whole vehicle. There we go. Rotate it back this way. That seems to be working alright so far. Link there. Down here. Over this way. I might actually need to no collide that, so I'll just do a smart no collide on that there. There we go. Voila. We'll weld it. Ah, uh, yeah. Better be safe and we'll weld it to the seats as well. Don't really need to, but... Anyway, so now we'll link the pot up to the seat. And then we'll... I'll, I'll link my RPM up as well, so... There we go. Just to, just to get the RPM. Unfreeze it, she should be good. Yep, running alright, but we need more power. So, hmm, 15, we'll try that. Yep, so the engine weighs a little bit more than my V8, but that's understandable because it has got uh, four more pistons. Right, so... Look at that, she's running. Rightio, that back plate, we'll need to adjust that bull socket there. But she's running. Try and see how much power we can get out of it. Want to try and get a decent amount of power. So we'll back up here. I'm going to fix this first. Um, just quickly, we just need to do a Y and a Z lock. Oops, wrong way. It's that way. Okay. Okay, go back to the E2, change the multiplier to 30, update, 
Razor. It's a bit more power. Right, yeah, so now. Oh, yeah, it's a lot more power. There we go. Get some pretty decent power out of it now. Sorry, blood. We gotta keep going. We gotta push it to the limit. Yeah, it will slow right down. There we go. So it can stay stable at 60 power because I did use shift, so we'll go to 60 now. We're getting a lot of power through it. Now your results may vary, I will say. Um, the chassis I built recently, it is quite stable. Obviously it wasn't really built for the V12 to be in the front, but it still works nonetheless. Right here, I want to try and at least do some skits. Get some wheel spin. There we go. Now we're talking. It is definitely not made for the chassis. She's a bit too heavy on the front. Now, obviously, you can up the RPM limiter. I've set mine at uh, 1500, so the power cuts out when it goes over uh, 1500 RPM just to keep it from uh, breaking. And it does a very good job, it's nice and stable. As you can see, there's no vibrations. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, well, videos, I should say. This is part two. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. I, it would really help me out if you leave a like and subscribe. Share it with your people. Uh, post it on Face Punch or whatever. Be supportive. And as always, thanks for watching.